Hello everyone. I'm thrilled to introduce you to the latest major enhancements to the dashboards in Service Desk Plus Cloud. Let's dive in. To get started with table and graph widgets, navigate to the Home tab in your Service Desk Plus. Click on Dashboard, hover over the existing dashboard, click on Edit Dashboard, and navigate to the Customize button which is available on the top right corner of the table. Once the Customize pop-out opens, click on New and click on Table Widget to introduce a new table to the list of widgets you're going to create in your dashboard. Populate a widget name, choose the level of access you'd like to provide for your new widget, confirm the module for which you'd like to introduce your widget and start providing the data filters. As simple as that. For example, if you'd like to view all your open requests which were created today, populate a widget name, populate the data filter and click on preview. Clicking on preview provides two types of list views. One is a template view and the other is the standard list view. If you'd like to introduce header actions such as new incident, edit, delete, etc. You can enable them from the configure action section and you can also choose to enable row actions if needed as well. Once you click on refresh, you will see all of these options populated in the preview mode itself. Now all you need to do is click on add table widget, click on update layout and you're all set. When you scroll all the way down, your new widget is ready to be customized. To introduce graph widgets in your Services Plus, navigate to Customize, click on New and click on Graph Widget. Populate the widget name, for example, Pending Requests. Choose the access levels depending on your preference. Confirm the module and start adding data filters. You can add multiple data filters from the list which is given here or you can click on New Custom Filter as well. In this case, if you'd like to view your critical tickets, you can choose the priority is critical and you can choose to click on save or apply. You can choose the graph type from this list. For example, summary, you can choose the data source. In this case, it's priority and then you can start providing the value and the label as well. Now, let me choose critical and click on refresh to populate the pending requests which are critical in your organization. You can populate a color for the value if you like and you can populate a color for the label if you like by clicking on the color palette as well. And if you'd like to introduce a background color, you can do so by enabling the widget settings from here and by choosing a color similar to what we did for the value and the label. Or if you'd like to go with a gradient, you can always choose the gradient option and choose from the list of gradient options which are available in your Service Desk Plus setup. If you'd like to hide the widget header, you can do so by clicking on hide. And when you click on add widget, your new widget gets added to your Service Desk Plus layout customization. All you need to do is update your layout, reorganize your table widgets and your graph widgets, and you're all set. Table and graph widgets now come with a smart peak view, which means you no longer need to navigate to the activities module or to the request module to view the data you want to see from within your dashboard. Customize your dashboard in all the modules of your Service Desk Plus Cloud setup and elevate your Service Desk Plus experience. That's all about the latest table and graph widgets and the all new activities dashboard in the cloud version of Service Desk Plus. Try it out now.